How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. Sorry that my uploads got a little mixed up for a few days there. I had a wedding that I actually went off to, so I'm trying to upload a couple extra episodes to make up for the fact that the series wasn't daily for a few days. Also, side note, thank you guys, we just hit 2,000 subscribers today, that's pretty fucking unreal. I don't know what my plan is next year. I'm gonna go for a wander, it's always a good way to, I don't know, get the juices flowing when you're starting up a new play session. A skeleton approaches you in that jittery, stop motion-y way that skeletons do. You know, think like that dancing sequence in The Evil Dead. Judging by its hat, it appears to be the skeleton of a bean slinger. You remember the classic saying, old bean slingers die like normal people, but sometimes they keep walking around and casting spells at you afterwards. I can fight the old has-been. God, that's almost too clever. Raise a white flag. Or trick it and take its hat. I have two horn swoglin. I can't really do anything with his hat, but I am I want it. Oh, now this won't do at all. Your posture is terrible. You look like you died of scoliosis. The skeleton stands still puzzled as you move around behind it and grab its shoulders. Come on now, shoulders back, spine straight. That's a little better, but jeez, look at the curve in his neck. Hold still for a second. With a sharp twist, you pop the skeleton's skull right off. Take its hat and toss the skull away. I killed it. Is that really considered horn swoggling? Because it kind of feels like just murder. The rest of the body scampers off to try and find it. Oh, I see. The cowboy chef's hat. Extra spell damage, but I can't really do anything with it. This combination cowboy hat and chef's hat is popular amongst camp cooks and people working in restaurants who wish they were camp cooks. Much better. Let's see, maybe one more wander, and then let's go to the Cavern Canyon, I guess? That's been on my map for a long time. You notice trails of burnt vegetation off the side of the trail, which can only mean one thing. A hell calf is grazing nearby which I accidentally called a half-calf several times before. You know, those classic half-dairy, half-non-dairy forms of cattle. But really, I just misread it the one time, and then, you know, once you screw it up, it gets stuck in your head, and every time you see it after, you just assume you were right the first time, so I kept reading it as half-calf over and over. Hell-calf makes a lot more sense, because, you know, it's like a burning devilish hell beast. We got the jump on him. Doesn't even have that much health, so this is uh, not really going to be much of a challenge there. And, oh, this might be the first time I've fought a cow since I got the skinning knife, so I can actually maybe skin this one. Wow, I got a lot of stuff from that. You put the abominable calf out of its misery. Putrid cow bile. A little vial of rancid cow bile that you kept for some reason. Increased moxie by 11 and AP by 1 for the rest of the day. Holy sweet shit, does that count as a potion? Because I should probably drink that. I'm allowed one, maybe two potions with my spleen right now. Brass bullring, years of being stuck in the nose of a cow have done nothing for the finish in this thing. Looking a little rough, is she? And you skin the cow, you get extra thick leather. Leather, leather taken by force from one of the lesser of the region's demonic cows. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Oh, can I actually, I can actually level up Susie by killing cows. Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Shit. Okay. I, I, there was just a, a thread in the comments about how Gary is the only helper that you can level up. But I, and I, I was kind of disappointed because I was like, Susie's increasingly becoming less useful. Looks like you can level her, level her up by, by killing cows. So that's awesome. I think someone pointed that out in like episode three or something. That was just so long ago that I think I kind of forgot about it. So that's my bad. Uh, let's head to the canyon and then uh, uh, yeah sure whatever it's like the next nearest thing I will probably do the shaggy dog cave in my own time I'll record it just in case anything truly exciting happens there but several people have warned me it's kind of a, a long setup for a relatively weak punchline and when I say a long setup like a half hour long or something ridiculous so I'll probably edit around that for people who are worried about Seeing that yet again in this playthrough, if you if you're watching multiple playthroughs, now nah, let's head let's head on over to the canyon. I don't even remember what exactly is supposed to be done here. Danger spider. Hopefully Susie can give me a quick reminder. But I think if this counts as a potion, 
Like, let me let me take a look here. If I sort consumables, potions, perfect. My other options are melee damage, which I don't need, range damage by three, which I probably gain more damage by having 11 moxie, and I can have two potions. So I think uh, I, I just gotta, I think this is gonna be way too big of a bonus for me. You're no, you're no cow scientist, but you're pretty sure this would kill you if you drank it. Come to think of it, you're pretty sure that there's not even any such thing as a cow scientist. Better not. What? Incre what the, but the, but I want, I want that bonus. What do I do to it? How do I make that drinkable? Oh, do, uh, just, just drink it after all. Damn it. What the heck? Oh, can you maybe only drink it if you're a cow puncher or something? Shit. I don't really know exactly what, what I, what I can do about that. Well, wow, there's quite a few entrances to this, this cavern in this canyon here. The cave door has been boarded up. Pry off the boards. Oh, sweet. I have that crowbar. Susie, what do you, what do you have to say about all this? Danger! Spider! Hmm, one of us better watch the horses. They ain't gonna do us much good, drug off into a hole somewheres. Alright, you wait here, I'll shout if I need ya. How about you just go in there and do it, Susie? You never do any of the adventures. Am I forgetting about anything? I was kind of wondering if maybe you could tell me a little bit about this area. No. If you got nothing to say about right here, then I guess it's not that important. I'll figure it out as as I'm going along my way. Med is sudden and booze. Scrawled in it in black paint, Med Isan. Oh, this is the stuff that Ellsbury really liked. Um, I should probably bring that to him again to see if I can get more, you know, stories and stuff out of him. You hear a sudden chittering coming from the big hole behind you. Oh, sweet shit. Um, that's a little scary, actually. You should leave right now before that spider eats you. Uh, I'm a little scared. Oh, shit. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have opened up every single, or maybe I should have looked at every crate before I opened one up, damn it. Well, let's investigate this first. I, if I don't have any dynamite or anything like that, I'm a little bit scared to try and fight, like a, a potential, like, big badass boss type creature. Another danger spider sign, this door has like 15 deadbolts on it. The note tacked on it says, Please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. I mean, if no one's willing to, to put their John Hancock on, on a note, then... Exactly, then I, I can't I can't possibly take that seriously. What the fuck am I sneaking up on? You, s you can see the gang on the other side of the big pile of junk, but you're not going to be able to get to them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs, you'd be able to pick your way through it. You just can't can't get through the junk at all, huh? Well, it turns out that this is one of those gangs that I agreed to deal with. The, the ones that were posted in the jail. Uh, two shooters and one melee. That's like the perf- Oh, it's like the striped hat gang, or the, the hat vandal gang, or something along those lines, right? I'm, it's good to see that there's one melee character because I can take them out first and then put up a barricade with Susie for the rest of them. Let's see, what what's the point of sneaking up on them if I could just fight them anyways? Oh wait, you're really pushing your luck here. If you get any closer, they're definitely going to attack you. Can I just like sneak around them maybe? No, no. Well, I, I want to fight them. That's kind of what I came here for then. So let's let's do it. We got the jump on them this time. They're not tough at all, let's just take them down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can shoot barrels? Oh, it's providing that guy with cover. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'll, I'll build my own barricade and then I'll run over there and, and deal with that. But I want to get my own barricade up there first. Take out Judy Dawkins. And what else have we got? Finnis McGee and Ferdinand Jenkins. Those sound like some right, right dandy cowboy names if you ask me I regret nothing these hats look really great <laughs> he's just really proud of his handiwork it was totally worth it huh oh I wonder if I can no I probably can't shoot past it it probably works the exact same as my barricade so I better run in there and take care of that presumably it's the same as my own barricade that you can't shoot through it you're just like never gonna be able to so why bother Oh, none of these. 
Oh right, I never drank that potion, so I still only have 3 AP. Dang, dang, I really wish I had more. Hmm, I, I'm trying to think where it's best to... Susie, it's gonna take him her three shots to take out this guy. You might as well start working on Ferdinand then, and leave leave the taking down of Finnis to, to the big gun over here. Big hoss. And then we can take care of Ferdinand. She does so little damage compared to me that it's kind of... I kind of try to break it up that her contribution isn't, you know, more or less meaningless. If it's like it's going to take her three and it'll take uh, the grimy one shot, then I might as well let grimy take the shot. Let's see, put an end to the stripy hat gang's reign of bad taste. Some extra mysticality, the tattooed tooth. That's quite impressive. This is one of the teeth that until recently was in the mouth of the leader of the stripy hat gang. I think I've found other teeth in this game that have said, had started with the similar sentence of up until this point was recently in the mouth of blank. You also take one of those horrible hats as a souvenir. Oh, and I, I took that as a means of identifying the guy. That makes sense. Minus three, Moxie. This hat is terrible and everyone will hate you if you wear it. I, I don't think it looks that bad. I personally don't know if I've ever seen a hat with vertical stripes on it like that, but apparently it doesn't, doesn't fly around here. Danger Kitchen and Danger Bar. I guess maybe that maybe it's not truly danger. Maybe this is a, a way of me now learning that whoever made these signs doesn't understand what danger truly means. Or we're in the land of danger, so this is a danger kitchen. The spiders from here are danger spiders. Maybe it's not actually anything I need to be concerned with. Maybe they're not really dangerous spiders. I'll probably have to try to fight at least one of them. The hideout kitchen. This poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Uh, let me get back to you. Nah, I could probably do a quick rescue. Just please don't end up being bad. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours and shakes vigorously. I'm Doug, the grimy slinger. How you doing, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks, cooking for those stripy-hatted idiots. That sounds awful there, Doug. You want to know the worst part? There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right, and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. Uh, how is that the worst part? This chain is only four feet long. Ah, uh, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head, and now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. What's, what's your million meat idea? That's precisely what I want to know. Maybe I can uh, get in on that action. You, uh, you promised not to steal my idea, right? I don't... I'll say I promise, but I really don't. I, d I don't promise anything. <laughs> okay, it's a new kind of sandwich. Maybe a taco? It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy, to be on honest. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage. But it's sausage made from the cheapest parts of the pig, ground up so finely you can't identify them anymore. Okay. And it's served in a long split roll which soaks up the grease so you can tell how fatty the sausage is. Is this guy... I For a second I thought he was describing a burger. He's describing a hot dog, right? It's... I, I've never thought of a hot dog as being a taco, but I guess... Is it a sandwich? Is it a taco? What, what, where, where does a hot dog fall in the line of this? I can't believe I'm learning. I'm getting... I'm, I'm the first person in this entire West of Loathing to learn what a hot dog is. What an honor. And the best part? The name. You ready to hear the name? Man, he's gonna call it something so stupid. I called it the hot dog. <sighs> yeah. What do you think? Sounds great, I don't care for it. How about the hot, the grimy instead? Don't be ridiculous. Hot, the grimy? That doesn't even. What, is that, what does that even mean? Ridiculous. Hey, there's no need to be mean about it. He sighs. Not that any of this even matters. Even if I did get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around in this empty cave making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. <laughs> They <laughs> like the taste of them. Why do you think it's a million feet idea? I guess because it just uses cheap parts of the pig. You could set up shop in dirt water. Oh, one of the vacant lots. Are we actually going to start making use of the vacant lots that are there? Brilliant. You're a genius, the grimy singer. Hot dugs for sale all day, every day. I'll make a mint. 
Say, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage mixture? You, uh, you decide to keep him locked up to the wall afterwards because the world doesn't need to be exposed to minty pork products. But really, you help him break his chain. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipes. That's that, then. I can't, I can't give this guy seed money. I can't, like, invest in the hot dogs. Oh, he actually did take all that shit with him. What about on this shelf? Nothing on the shelf looks good. And nothing on this shelf looks interactable. So I guess that just stays as is. And what about this bar? Is someone in here inventing some sort of new drink? Looks like this place needs a new bartender. What's this? He had a jaw harp in his pocket. Maybe they killed him for playing the jaw harp too much. What in the shit is this? It's a little twanger. You can plunk, plunk it if you like. Can, can I actually plunk it? Plunk it. You stick the twanger in your mouth and plunk it as best you can. Can you guys hear some of that in the background? I didn't... Is this... Is a jaw harp? Is that actually what makes that ridiculous twangy noise? Because I've never seen one of these before. You plunk your twanger some more. You plunk your twanger, then you plunk it some more. You plunk your twanger all live long day. You'll be plunking this twanger until the day you die. You plunk your twanger with vigor. You keep plunking your twanger, you plunk it joyfully. You love plunking your twanger. So much twanging, so much plunking. All right, now stop plunking it, that's enough. All the bottles are empty. What a waste, there's a few full bottles left on this shelf. Cheap whiskey, cheap tequila, cheap wine. I've already read the other two. This label says it's from Italy, so it can't be that bad, can it? Oh wait, it says it's actually from Utali. Moxie by three. Was the entire point of this bar to get the jaw harp so I could do some plunking and twanging? Because it really seems like there is nothing else to do there. Uh, I can't, I can't go through this from, from this way, can I? Alright, I think I should probably try and fight this first spider. No way are you going to go back in there? Oh, I actually missed my opportunity to fight that? I was not expecting that. Uh, open the door. The tunnel behind this opening goes straight up. There's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. Oh! So I kind of missed my opportunity to fight any and all spiders, did I? What was this? What was this doorway? That just went... Ah, uh, yeah. I think I actually missed my opportunity to fight any of the spiders. Possibly for the best. There's a good to fair chance that they would have just fucked me up big time anyways, so... Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be too concerned with it. Do a quick in-between adventure wander. Your booze sense alerts you to the presence of a rock. I, I, it turns out it's... I've had, I've had this before. Turns out my booze sense is still good. It's not was it hasn't changed into a rock sense accidentally. You find a pair of saddlebags slung over a tree branch. Stenciled letters on the side read property of Fort All Dead Library. Doesn't sound like a very lively town, does it? Dig through the bags. The bag is full of books, mostly boring military field manuals. You do find one of spe with specific interests to you though. Nice. Another snake oiler thing. I've found quite a few of those. I, I think I have a shitload of snake oiling skills at this point that I'm pretty happy about. Your heart skips a beat as you spy a floating cow skull in the middle distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you. Definitely fight it, I because I'm curious if this will also count towards giving Sophie an upgrade? If, if uh, she likes killing floating demon cow skulls just as much as she likes fighting you know, regular cows. You crush that cow skull to powder, but not before you extracted the useful bits of it. And that's good, you want to make sure you use every bit of it if you can. For centuries, we ate them. These teeth are proof that they've decided it's their turn. The cow fangs. Ah, another, another notch in Susie's rifle, so it does count. She just didn't happen to level up on that particular one. Alright, make our way onwards to something, something else. Or, or do you know what? Let's quickly run back to dirt water just because I'm curious I want to see uh, the hot dog stand I want to see how that how that come has come along also while I while I'm thinking of it I should probably read this uh, bad medicine and strong medicine are both kind of so so I'll probably just take big spleen a free sample of clone that says it'll make your spleen bigger lets you consume more potions in a day sure why the hell not you take a big whiff of the cologne sample and feel your spleen grow larger. Their chemical experimentations have given you a comically oversized spleen. Trust me, if you could see it, you'd laugh. 
plus three spleen capacity. It was only at two before. Then you sneeze so hard that the magazine's blown completely to bits. Good and tight. Holy sweet shit, I can just pump myself full of potions now. Uh, if only they would let me drink this one. I'd be so much better off. Range damage by three, that's not great. But if I only have, if I have five slots for it, then what the hell, let's go for it. You eat the sugar guns and are delighted to discover that they're black licorice flavor. Maybe the Grimy Slinger is delighted. I am not, because that is literally the worst flavor that's ever existed, ever. The gunpowder in that candy has really helped to steady your aim. Ay yay! You know, plus three damage doesn't seem like a lot, but whenever I do that three gun attack, then I'm, I'm adding three damage. Shit, I should maybe try to help this guy. Were you able to bring bring that stuff back for me? Sorry, man, I don't remember exactly where I where that was. Uh, Big Spleen actually can't be leveled up again. That's that's as good as it's gonna get. It seems an awful lot like I don't have a way of tracking my quests. So I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly where your broken leg medicine was. Oh, the hot dog stand. At some point, it changed from Doug to dog. He he did change it up after all. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old the grimy slinger. Howdy yourself. The sign outside. Is this is this the same person who screwed up the other signs and made it so that we have a sheriff? Is there just some terrible sign painter in this land? Is this a running joke that there's some person who just puts typos in everyone's sign? Because if so, that's the most amazing thing. I had to change the name. I tried to file a trademark and it turns out there's already something called a hot tug. <laughs> what is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Is it something sexual? Anyway, a single letter removed and I'm in business. He gestures at the menu on the wall behind him. Yeah, I'll buy something. What you got? The elegant hot dog, the jumbo dog, it even looks pretty massive, and the saucy dog. Increase mysticality, increase muscle, increase moxie. Uh, let's see, the elegant hot dog. This is exactly enough sausage and exactly enough bun to qualify as a hot dog. It is perfectly efficient. The jumbo dog, a thick, sturdy hot dog for a thick, sturdy cowboy. And the saucy dog, this hot dog has been embellished with a zesty sauce. Don't get too excited though, the zesty sauce is just regular old mustard. <laughs> well, I was gonna get excited until you undersold it. I'll buy one of those somewhere down the line. Maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to make use of it. I want to support the business, you know. Maybe rummage around in behind his counter there and and see if uh, there's anything that I can just steal. Seems kind of like not. So I'll leave you to it, Doug. Good to see that you're doing well. Good to see that we were able to introduce hot dogs to the world. Well, next time I'll strike out and who knows any old random direction. Probably make our make our way up to one of these things way up north here. I do realize that the railroad camp is like the next main storyline thing, I think? I don't want to accidentally progress the main storyline too early though and miss out on other things, so I've, I probably will keep bouncing around on some of these side quests. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you again soon.